Morning world, I'm very, very excited. This is the first in-depth blog that I'm doing. Um, it's the 37th one. Um, I didn't realize when I started the blogs how well they were going to catch on to people. It's something that I wanted to do daily because i seen constantly so much negativity throughout social media that I said, okay, I want to start to do something where it inspired people daily. And um, I started through Instagram, then shared it from Instagram to Facebook. And then um, the rest is history. I saw people was constantly sharing them, um, supporting them, liking them, constantly saying, keeping them going. So with that being said, I decided to do something different, um, something more in depth. Um, that way the videos aren't as short and it won't seem as broad, but it'll still be straight to the point and it'll still break down what I'm talking about to where you're not questioning like, okay, what is about this, that, and the other? Because I remember one topic that I talk about, people were still expounding on it because I didn't really take enough time to really explain it enough. Well, I thought I did, but didn't really explain enough to them, I guess. But long story short, anyway, um, want to be able to explain things a little more. But with that being said, I'm not going to prolong it with the intro. Um, today, I want to talk about the importance of pushing your brand. It's important that no matter what you do in life, you have brands such as you might have your own business. I know a lot of people who have their own business. I know two, in fact. One is my wife. Jasmine Barron. Um, you can find her stuff on Instagram and on Facebook. Uh, it's JB Gourmet Treats. And with that, she started it last year um, on Mother's Day. Really not as a business. She was making chocolate covered strawberries for my mom, her mom, and two other friends of ours, mothers. And what happened, she put it on Facebook and people start asking for prices. So next thing we know, another order comes in. Then another order comes in. And ever since Mother's Day, it has not stopped. So we were talking about, I said, man, we need to we need to make this a business. Because <laughs> the way people keep ordering, you know, it needs to be a business. Because it's, it's not by accident that this is happening. And then our, uh, another person that I know is a friend of ours, a sister of ours, Jessie Smith. She has uh, fearfully and wonderfully made wigs. Basically, she does hair, um, anything in the hair field that you need done, she do it for you. So those two people are on my Facebook. Check them out again, Jasmine Barron for JB Gourmet Treats and Jesse Smith for Fearfully and Wonderfully Made Wigs. But anyway, back to the topic. When you're pushing your brand, it's important. It's, a, it's four things that came to my mind with pushing the brand. First thing, and it's most important, and I'm not trying to come off deep or holding it down. I'm just being 100 with y'all. You got to put Jesus first in your business, man. Let me tell you something. I'm not telling you something that I heard. I'm not telling you some religious mumble jumbo. I'm telling you the real deal, Holyfield, just being 100 with y'all. When my wife started her business, that, that was all God because... It was never a business in the first place. It was just something that she did for everybody's moms. And the reason why I say put God first, God will lead you on a name, which he gave her the name. He will lead you who to contact and he will bring the customers to you. And she has came across customers where she have charged certain things for a certain price and they gave more than what they were supposed to. So those are examples of putting God first and your brand in your business. Um, the opposite of that, the flip side of that, I want to talk about some negative sides to it when you don't do certain things. The flip side of that is when you don't put God first, your business may run, run its course, but it won't go to its fullest potential. So I'm not saying you got to go around being religious and deep. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is when you put God first, the business can run above, not how it's only supposed to run, but it can run above and beyond, which leads to my second point. When you're doing something, when you're pushing your brand, you got to believe in yourself. If you do not believe in yourself, people will not buy into your dream. I don't care how good it is. I don't care how catchy it sounds. 
if you do not believe in yourself, it's like a car salesman. I work at a dealership. If the salesman does not know what he or she is doing, nobody is going to buy that car. You have to convince people on why they should buy that car. So with that being said, when you're selling your stuff, you got to believe in yourself, man. You got to you got to push this thing like you know your stuff is the top stuff. Confidently. Not in arrogance, but confidently. Um, third point, you gotta have a good, strong team. You can't, it's no iron team. You can't do this by yourself. Uh we support each other's businesses. The Smiths and Barons, we support each other's businesses. We support other businesses that we know. Other people that do the same fields that we do, even throughout Facebook and locally. But most importantly, we have our teams, which is our family and people that are very close to us. Too many to name, but people that are very close to us. You have to have a strong, knitted team. People that's going to believe in your dream, ain't going to hate on you, ain't going to throw your name under the rug. Not going to try to tell you what they don't think you should or shouldn't do, but they're going to give you good advice and they're going to be a hundred with you. When you don't have a good committed team with you, it, 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 it won't go the way it's supposed to. You will have people backstabbing, all kinds of crazy stuff. I've seen it before. So make sure you be careful and how you pick your team of people that support what you do. Um, fourthly, how you execute. Execute and being committed while you execute. Execution, when I say that, is, for instance, I do Christian rap. If I don't properly execute the music to the fans, reaching out, staying committed, constantly doing songs, then the fans are not going to really buy into what I'm talking about or what I'm doing. They're not going to take what I'm doing seriously. So it's important that you execute and you stay committed to it. Don't just be a one hit wonder. Don't be somebody that people are left saying, what if this person had to kept doing this? You know, don't leave them with a question mark in their mind about why you didn't finish what you started. And last but not least, learn. I actually have five points. Last but not least, learn from your mistakes. Learn from your successes. Don't get stuck and when you fail so many times. Because if you focus on your failures way too much instead of learning from them, then you can't grow. And if you focus too much on your successes, you can't go beyond that success. Look at uh, sports, for instance. I, I can't stand this team, but New England Patriots. Five Super Bowls out of seven. Seven trips. Why? Because they never got stuck with the failures of the two that they lost and they never got stuck with the successes of the five that they won. So it's always important, no matter what you're doing, that you don't get stuck in the failures of life or you don't get stuck in the successes of life. Because those two things, if you're not careful, can cause you to miss out and not push and expound on your brand. So always remember the five things that I talked about far as pushing your brand um, first thing is putting Christ first um, second thing believing in yourself um, selling your dream selling selling your vision third thing having that strong committed team um, and the fourth thing was executing and being committed when you execute and be committed then things will go to where it's supposed to and last but not least um, learning from your successes and failures and not getting stuck there. So always remember those things when you are pushing your brand, when you're trying to move your brand. And I promise you, you're going to end up being successful and it's going to end up extending on not just locally, but beyond. New extended blog and death will be up tomorrow. Y'all take care. God bless.